Dontarius? Dontarius, yes, Dontarius. my wife's boyfriend, yes. Your wife's guy, boyfriend. Yes, yes. Uh, I've seen him in several of your videos recently. Yes. Can you give us like an origin story of how we, how you found Dontarius? Well, Dontarius, uh, a little people, little do people know that Dontarius as well was, uh, he went viral on TikTok okay. for a woman ended up bringing him into his house and she got pregnant from him. So you have to type in uh, Dontarius getting a woman pregnant, TikTok, or homeless man gets a woman pregnant. <laughs> I don't TikTok. think I'm, I'm definitely not searching. But that. if you do I, search I, that, it's <laughs> one of the most viral videos. And then okay. New York Post wrote about him. So, so he has a following on the internet. Mm -hmm. And then he teams up with Primetime 99 Alex Stein. And our first endeavor was the Barstool Sports. You know, raid where we raided the headquarters. Yes, because you had a back, taking people back, you had a back and forth with Dave, the, Portnoy. With Dave Portnoy, the guy who, you know, founded Barstool Sports. And it was originally, like, he was kind of a fan of one of your videos and then they got. They posted a video and yeah. they took it down because it was political, but really it was just anti gambling. Or yeah, I said that I lost all my money gambling. And I so, remember this with the one in Vegas, right? Yes. And so they took it down, but then he invited me on his podcast. But then within an hour of inviting me on his podcast, <laughs> somebody had sent him an anti abortion rally that, that I went to. Yeah. And he shared the videos like, oh, I would never have this guy on. And I'm like, what? I, basically saying, oh, you know, he's too political for me because he's pro-choice, but that's that's neither here nor there. That's just an excuse not to have me on because I think he knew that I would call him out on the show. Right. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. But really and truly, if, if Dave hears this, I would have been respectful. I would have been nice. I don't want the guy to hate me. I don't have any personal hate towards him or Barstool. For me, it's more like kind of a radio bit and like uh, now it's a rivalry because you invited me on and then uninvited me. So I have a reason to be mad. I, I do think that there's reason for him to believe you might not be fully respectful after what happened at Barstool when you... Well, yeah, but to be honest, boyfriend. I was totally respectful. Don Terrius and I, we said, we talked about this before. <laughs> if anything happens, if they hit us, you do not hit back. And I think you can see clearly <laughs> on the tape, I was the one. Don Terrius and I were the victims of assault. And we were very nice, and we're not going to press charges, because even though we are insane, we're not that insane. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that came. Now, he's been coming in some, several of your videos now. And you actually did take him to Congress and met with several Troy Congress Nels, We met with uh, Congressman Green. We also went to Dan Crenshaw's office. We went to AOC's <laughs> office. And we we met with their staffers. They were not too happy to see us. So, no? So, no, they weren't. Surprisingly, oh. they weren't. I should have brought flowers for AOC. But, uh, yeah, Dontarius called AOC a big booty Latina to one of her staffers. And he, he said, yeah, that's disgusting. So it's really great uh, footage. But that's like that's the idea of my shows. I want to show bits of me doing that and then kind of talking about it. But that would just be a small part of it. So I want to have the guests on like you have for, you know, the 10-minute interview, the 15-minute yeah. interview. Because I don't really... I do like the long form podcast. I know you and I have talked about it, but I think you can get a lot said in a one on one quick interview. Yeah, no. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.